Yeah, I was just um, reflecting. I've been in Goa now, this visit, for f just over five weeks. And um, I don't know if I'm having a good time or not. <laughs> it's, it's just not, it's not, it's interesting to kind of reflect on that. I'm not, I, it doesn't, I, I'm really, and I sort of reflect on it and I, well, I don't know, I suppose I am. But it's really interesting to see how that's, that's changed. And, um, because I, I remember coming to places like Goa, and I did come to Goa before I met the Balance View training, and to see just how focused I was on all of my descriptions about what was going on, particularly the ones about how I was doing, um, and my opinions about other people, and myself, and Goa, and just, just this endless flow of descriptions, this stream of data, and how that was my sole focus. And, um, you know, I would wake up happy some days and down other days and those thoughts and emotions would seem to set the tone for the rest of the day or the rest of the week and you know, I'd then be trying to work out, well, what can I do to, to change the negative ones? When I was happy, I didn't think I needed to change anything, but the happiness would come and go. Um, but when I was negative, I needed to work out what needed to change. You know, did I need a, an intimate partner or did I need to get rid of my intimate, intimate partner or did I need to leave Goa or change rooms or um, go to more parties or go to less parties or um, yeah just just this the whole world of descriptions was was it was all I saw that was all I saw and it's amazing now that um, through participating in this training and really getting to know that all, all of this data, all of these descriptions, everything that you can perceive is nothing other than the dynamic energy of open intelligence. And it arises spontaneously and it self-releases naturally. <laughs> that, that's it. And just in knowing that and in seeing that directly with all of your data, with all of your experience, then everything opens out. And what's revealed is actually the essence and fundamental nature of everything, which is great benefit. And so, it's just such a relief, first of all, not to live my life completely wrapped up in all of these descriptions. I was just thinking about, um, even after the introduction to open intelligence, even after we begin to learn this about ourselves and about all of our experience, the, the, the habit of focusing in on the descriptions and desperately thinking we need to do something about them is one that we've been doing for, for most of us for decades. You know, so a, a thought arises like um, fear, you know, and fear can just suddenly pop into your mind stream. It can be fear about something, um, fear about getting sick or getting ill or fear about um, somebody we love dying or just a kind of vague nameless fear, sense of dread or you know something that we can't quite put our finger on and, and then we begin to think about it and well is this a sign that I'm about to get sick or is this a sign that there's this or that or the other or, or what do I do about it or uh, and everything seems suddenly really problematic and really troubling. And even after we've been introduced to open intelligence, even though we know that everything arises spontaneously and self-releases naturally, this habit to jump on a certain description or experience or, or thought, the thought, and it is it's something that is... Um, you know, it's drilled into us from such an early age that, you know, we, we need to find the perfect partner and that's where our happiness lies. And, you know, from the very early, the very first fairy story that you hear of the prince and the princess and every single Hollywood film ever made, whatever happens, it always ends up after they've saved the world with the hero and the heroine walking off into the sunset. So it's not surprising that we believe that is really where our happiness lies and 
So then maybe we see a, a, a beautiful looking couple on the beach and immediately we're off and oh, you know, they're so happy and oh God, that's where my happiness lies. And even though we know that all of the data arises spontaneously and self-releases naturally, we jump on this one experience, this one thought, this one data stream. And um, it, it's, it's just a habit and, and the habit of beginning now to rely on open intelligence is really simple. It happens just one short moment at a time. So the only place that you have to recognize open intelligence is in the current datum. Whatever you're experiencing, whatever you're thinking, whatever you're sensing right now, that is your opportunity to allow it to be as it is and to recognize that as the dynamic display of open intelligence. So it's so simple. That is always the case. That's the case right now. And that's the case right now and now. And it is always that simple. But I saw for myself that the habit of emphasizing the data, of jumping on them, of being caught on this, um, this manic wheel of descriptions, of thinking, of analyzing, of trying to work everything out. I, I, the, one of the analogies we use is of a, a potter's wheel. And um, for me, this is great. It, it really summed up my experience when I came to the training of basically, you know, this time this potter and I'm peddling away at this wheel and peddling and peddling and you know, thinking about everything and analyzing everything. And OK, I'm, you know, I'm happy now. That's good. That's good. Oh, oh, there's a bit of sadness. Right. I need to <laughs> pedal a bit, a bit harder. And, and, and coming to this training and um, being told that why don't you just for a short moment, take your foot off the pedal. I'm like, are you mad? I've, I've been pedaling all of my life, and you're telling me I can just take my foot off the pedal? I oh, know, I'm not sure about that. And, and the trainer then says, well, just, just try it for a short moment, just, you know, just for an instant, just take your foot off. And I, oh, I'm not, not so sure, and oh, I, all right, okay, I'll just, just, I, Oh, everything's okay, yeah, I, but I'm going to keep pedaling for a while. <laughs> and um, that's just the way it is. It, it just takes a while for the momentum and the habit of thinking that we need to keep pedaling. Just to slow down, to gently lose its momentum. And, and, and what happens is, is that, as we see, we can really relax with everything as it is. And in that relaxation is complete clarity, is the empowerment to see what will actually be of most benefit, both to ourselves and to other people. Um, we no longer have to hold other people hostage to our data streams, to our manic peddling, hoping that somehow other people are going to give us the solution that we're looking for. We see that we have this within us and that in balanced view, there's this powerful, powerful support network to, for us to see for ourselves that we can allow everything to be as it is. And when we do, we're just completely clear about what's going on. We're completely clear about how we want to proceed. We're clear on the, the patterns of from the past and things that we might have thought we really needed to make ourselves happy or other things that we needed to avoid to um, make ourselves happy and that, that it's just the shift from this obsessive self-focus where the thought would come up, you know, I'm not happy today and then immediately collapsing into the stories about why I'm not happy and who's to blame and is it this, is it that, is it, you know, what's to blame, I need to find someone or something to blame instead of just relaxing completely and allowing that experience, that data stream to also be as it is. If the universe is an indivisible intelligent system, that means that that includes you, that includes all of your thoughts, all of your emotions, all of your sensations, no matter how you describe them, all of your experiences are also part of this indivisible open intelligent system. They are already part of this open intelligence system. You don't need to do anything to make them part of it. All you need to do is allow them to be as they are, to rest for a short moment, 
and relax completely. And in that, you gain immediate access to this open intelligence system that the universe actually is. It's only by going in and trying to do something with this dynamic energy that that openness of perception that is this open intelligence system is simply ignored. So it's so simple, it's so practical, but it really is up to each one of us to decide whether this is something that we want to incorporate into our everyday lives. And I see for myself that the more I do that, the more I train up this non-learning, um, simply by hanging around the Four Mainstays, taking short moments whenever I remember, participating in trainings, um, cultivating a relationship with a trainer, it's like having a guide or a teacher or a mentor if you want to learn anything, it's not mysterious or complicated. Um, and also spending time with other people that are also committed to relying on open intelligence. All of those things will support you in making this recognition obvious throughout your everyday life experience. So it's not complicated and it's not difficult, but it really is up to you. Each of us decides how we want to live our life and I now come to Goa and like I said at the beginning, I, I, I really don't, it's, I don't mind whether I'm having a good time or not, I just kind of am having a good time. But it's not the focus. And, and that's such a relief. I can see that just by allowing everything to be as it is, I have everything that I need. And then from there I can choose how I want to live my life, I can choose about an intimate partner or who that's going to be but from a, a very clear, open standpoint, not from this kind of desperate need of feeling that somebody is going to give me something that I'm missing, just from a perspective of complete relaxed openness. And, and that's a great place to make any decision from, whatever it is. That's where we really become wise and clear.